Hi, I'm Pete Rulon. I want to kind of talk about some of the devices that we use in the following video to do light painting. Some of the items that we're going to be using today can be purchased directly off Amazon or any other commercial vendor. The first one that we're going to talk about is it's called a light whip. It's a series of LED lights that you can spin, you can move, you can do whatever you want to. They recommend that there's a special lube for this so it doesn't get stuck together. And we will show you in the video how it was used and what are the results of using a light whip. You can change colors, you have multiple choices. So that's your basic light whip. I need, ooh, that's why. Oh, ghosty, okay, cool. Can you see her on the, um... oh yes, beautiful. I'm a good clicker. Yeah, you are. Oh, I like that pattern. Yeah, that's a nice circle. Let me come in a little closer, a little bit. I like that one. Oh, yeah. I love it around the arms. Around the arms? That is awesome. It has a unique pattern to it. Ready? Peter? Yeah. That's cool. Another simple device that you can buy off Amazon is a sort of Star Wars lightsaber. Some of these will do solid colors, some will do oscillating colors. It just depends on which one you buy. I like solid colors, they're easier to use. The changing colors give you interest in your pattern. So these are just I don't spend a whole lot of money on these, but we will show you in the video as we go through it how to use these in light painting. The okay, make a heart. Crooked. <laughs> I'm really crooked. <laughs> the next device is what I call an orb maker. I originally fabricated this out of cardboard and then decided to make it more permanent. Once again, these are the little, rather than the tape strip, they are the little LEDs on the wire. Battery powered. I taped the battery to the back of this. I laid it out so the spacing of the holes is even in this. It would be nice if you could have all the LEDs in their individual hole 
unfortunately I have a little left and sometimes that does make trouble so if I'm really careful I will take this extra lighting get a little black bag wrap all this up in a black bag just so you cannot see it so lay out drill your holes paint your wood black press the little LEDs into the holes turn it on now on the back is a base for this and this length from here to here is the radius of this circle that way it will rotate if I had a wide enough table that way it will rotate and create your orb and how you make your orb is pretty simple this is where I recommend having the remote shutter because you want to start this and have it complete one revolution and no more what you want to do is to press this and then after it starts rolling you press your remote shutter release and stop it as soon as it's returned to the beginning position and the orbs are really cool and fun and obviously you can change colors and change effects the other thing that I've done with this is to spin this in a way as you approach the camera so it creates a kind of a tunnel of light as it gets closer and closer to the camera or it doesn't really matter you can go modestly close to the camera and spin it on the way out and you will see that effect I think that's a cool effect and I think you will share that with me so what you do is remember spinning around yeah let me see if I go yeah, here. Okay. you ready to go yeah go Go. Now that thing just. That is cool. That one's. Okay. I'm giving you six seconds. Okay. You ready? Yep. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. A couple examples of what the output of using these devices is. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. I hope it was instructional and met the needs that led you to watch this video. It's important to like and subscribe to my videos because I do a number of them, some on drones, some on cameras, some on a lot of different subject areas, and I don't want you to miss one. And most of them, it is important that you watch to the end so you don't miss anything. Please, comment below. Is there something you want to see in the future we do? Is there a question you have, Peter, how do I do this? Do you need more information? Once again, thank you for your time. Like, subscribe, enjoy watching our videos that are designed for you to learn what you're seeking and to have fun. All these videos have been filmed at my studio in Hubert, North Carolina.